hey guys welcome back to some more afk arena today we're over on our youtube account and that is right guys we are looking at dolly's corner so right here guys is dolly's corner we know we do have the current um conversation that dolly is having right here which of course re is referring to a mysterious pair of newcomers have taken a number of trickery tricky commissions and they have laid dormant for ages at the renegade brotherhood that is right guys looking into dolly's corner let's go ahead and check out those two new heroes that are coming all right guys so here we are dolly's corner this is 35 guys it's absolutely insane to me that we have had 35 editions of dolly's corner um i i still remember when it started and we first started covering this which they had a lot of characters a lot of food that they were creating um some cartoons which they continue carrying 35 issues of dolly's corner later and of course, guys, looking at the picture here, you can see this is going to be our two new heroes. That is right. If you guys remember from the leaks, um, the leaks were showing that it, it could be or is going to be uh, the Witcher. So it's going to be the collaboration. Now, when we had the live stream a while ago, there was a lot of conversation about doing the collaborations. You know, we've seen it with Persona 5. Um, we've seen it with Prince of Persia. There's been a lot of collaborations that we've done in the past. And ultimately, guys, they said there was going to be a minimum, that is right, guys, a minimum of one collaboration, which was going to be in 2020. So this might be the only collaboration that we do see this year. But in addition, guys, there could be additional collaborations that are coming out. Now, as of this moment, nothing is confirmed from Lilith, which we're kind of waiting on. But ultimately, again, if you did see the leaks, you can kind of put two and two together and the heroes that are ultimately coming to AFK Arena, depending on the time frame. Usually when Dolly um, says something, it's usually within about a week or two once we see it up, as we see today right here. Now with that, guys, there is going to be ways to get these heroes. They have promised us as well that if they do release Dimensional Heroes, which right now we are waiting for Joan of Arc, if they relieve or what what if they release or when they release those dimensional heroes guys they will give us the opportunity to have enough resources to get both of these heroes as completely free to play which i'm i hope really does ring true to the heroes that we're seeing here so looking here guys bi-weekly news flash um catching a magical beast so as you've seen in the patch notes 1.98 beasts are coming to AFK Arena to assist your heroes within battle. So again, it's gonna be interesting to see. A um, couple questions that I really have when it comes to this one is, one, how many beasts are we gonna have? Is it gonna be three? Is it gonna be five? Is it gonna be 10, 50, 100? How many beasts are we gonna have? We know they're incorporating food, which is going to be essentially the way to catch the beasts. Um, they're incorporating it into a, a actually a lot of different areas of afk arena again if you've seen the patch notes there is a lot going on with afk arena in this beast the, the magical beast or the mythical beast that you're going to be able to capture um it's going to be interesting to see what they do if it is an item that is just going to be combat only um me personally i would be a little disappointed i really feel like the beasts need different classifications let's say there's one that is attacking there's one that is defensive and maybe there's one that is resource driven meaning that if you have a certain beast equipped um, or if you own a certain beast it could increase some of your afk rewards something of that nature i think that would be a very cool way to do it now personally i do not think they did it that way i, I don't think that is how they are incorporating the magical beast i think it might just be something that is built into the combat system which ultimately looking at the combat system, when you look at the campaign, um, utilizing them in there, short of levels, there's not really a huge need for it. Um, PVP, I can see just the, the pay to win aspect being very overpowering with a methodology like this or a method like this. Um, but when you get into, you know, the twisted realm, when you get into the cursed realm, when you start getting into the guild bosses, um, there's never been a need for these ma these magical beasts to really come in, which again is going to be super interesting to see exactly how this system rolls out, which we will be checking out tomorrow. In addition, guys, they did this. This is a lot different. Remember, if you if you've seen some of the earlier ones or the earlier context, there was a lot more when it came to the heroes. There there was a whole backstory. There was a big big write up. 
Now, very clear, very simple. I like the new layout of it. Um, she's a magical spirit, drives nightmares away, um, hates nightmare invasions, which I don't know anyone who likes nightmare invasions, but you can see guys' relationships with Almas and with Aziz down here. Um, likes Almas' green leaves, and then it's got kind of a breakdown. Again, not going so much in depth. I know before, again, they did the recipes, they did a lot of food, a lot of that. Um, also, when it came to the heroes themselves, they broke it down an incredible, incredible amount on this, keeping it clean, keeping it basic, keeping it simple. Then, of course, guys, we have the story. Almas is the best friend, which unfortunately Almas got a, um, didn't see the rework. So, so I was really sad to see that we did come out with the awakened version of Solus. It was not the awakened version of Almas that a lot of us were hoping for. But as you can see, guys, he is my best friend. He gave, he gave me my body. Um, I will sacrifice everything to save him. And then, of course, it's Almas, which looks incredibly like Groot, but it is Almas, guys, from our AFK Arena stories. So I believe that'll do it for Dolly's Corner, guys. Volume number 35. Um, super excited to see, again, the two new heroes that are going to be coming to AFK Arena. Um, still pretty impressed, guys, with, with 35 volumes of this. But two new heroes that are coming, um, new pets are coming. There's going to be so much over the next week or two to cover content-wise because this is a game changer, guys. We've seen it with the signature items. We've seen it with the furniture. We've seen it with the engraving. Um, it is an absolute game changer when they add an entire another layer to the development and the building of heroes. Um, also, when you get the pets in there, I guess pets are going to have levels. Pets are going to have stats. There's going to be a big, big dynamic that is going to be add, added to that. And also figuring out how they're going to work the functionality in there. Um, Again, I, I'm a million things, guys, are running through my head right now when it comes to these pets and when it comes to building them out. Um, how high are the levels going to go? Are they going to be able to equip anything? Are they including gear with them? Is it just going to be, you know, a single pet? Are we going to have one pet per battle? Is each hero going to have one pet? Um, is there going to be another block to kind of equip them like we see with the signature items and with the artifacts? Again, I, I can't wait to see it tomorrow. As you can tell, I'm super, super excited to see exactly what it's going to bring. Now, with the patch notes, guys, we did not see an announcement for the new heroes. Um, we have actually seen this before with the dimensional heroes. They don't follow the, the normal two-week or the normal standard of the hero release because once they are dropped or once it is announced um, and they go into the game, you have 60 days to accumulate essence or resources before you can start redeeming for these heroes, which I'm assuming is going to be the same um, factor that we have with this. Now, one thing I wanna see, guys, and we have talked about this for an incredible amount of time, um, having the ability to use my resources to get the shards of the heroes. Now, hero sharding, that is something that actually started a long time ago now, um, but ultimately, if I could go ahead and exchange for 60 shards for Joan of Arc, those shards sit in my bag that way. I don't have to worry about the resources um, that I'm using, that I'm not that I'm not using, um, that are building up within the mailbox, anything of that nature, guys. I wish they would just go ahead and let us do that redemption piece of it versus just having to literally stockade resources everywhere waiting, waiting for these heroes to come out. So again, guys, that'll do it for today's video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.